Hey guys, Barn Geek here, and today is a really exciting day on the Barn Geek homestead because today we're getting what are we getting, Zeke? The sawmill. The sawmill. <laughs> Finally, after months of well wanting to buy a sawmill, we finally are able to do it. And I think I think that's the, our guy right there. So I'm gonna tr jump on the tractor and go unload him. Those are under tension. Is that really tight? That's not too bad. Looks like it's got two sets of plastic bands on it. Helps to have a really sharp knife. The tape will probably just, yeah, just rips. More cardboard. Nice metal crate, so that's good. More bands, more cardboard. Yep, cut the bands. Okay, here we go. Put that over here. Yeah. A chicken tractor frame or something. All right, we got more cardboard. What do we got in here? We got that. Look at that. That's quite a large size motor. That's pretty nice. That's quite a large piece of cardboard. Oh, the cats are gonna love that box. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's the. Log scale and cable for the. Uh, that's a heavy, boy, that's a heavy duty setup there. Got boxes here. I kind of want to see what size uh, wrench I'm going to need. How much box has hardware? I'm assuming maybe the short one. I can open it. Yeah, go ahead and open it. That has bolts and stuff in it, and we can. Figure out what size wrenches you need to take. It's heavy, so. Yeah, everything about this thing is heavy so far. Oh, yeah, bolts are in there. Looks like Alright, guys, we're out in the saw yard, which is also the pasture. And you can see behind me there's a lot of uh, slab wood debris. This is. Uh, all this stuff is from when we uh, had a sawmill a couple years ago here, and uh, um, it's just slab wood that's left over. Haven't really done much with it. I advertised it for basically for free um, because it's you know good firewood, but um, being that it's all pine, it's not a real popular thing for people to come and get. So, um, so I guess nobody really came and got it, but. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go ahead and burn it this year in our wood stove. Um, now that we've got this tractor, uh, 
we can handle this material a lot easier, pick it up, cut up, uh, cut up chunks with it on the forks. Um, in previous years, I've used a chop saw to cut pieces, and that works pretty good. But it just takes a long time because the slab wood is so small, such small pieces, to get a, a good volume of wood. It works great for kindling, um, but you know it takes a long time to use that much kindling. So uh, this year we're gonna we're gonna cut it all up into little pieces. If we don't end up uh, um, if we don't end up burning it all. Uh, there's a firewood auction not too far away. You can probably take it up there on the trailer and and get rid of it. But uh, but today we're going to set the sawmill, the new sawmill up here, on the uh, um, on the cement pad that we've got here for sawmills. And uh, uh, this will be the third sawmill that I've owned. I've owned uh, Norwood uh, Lumber Light 24. That was my first sawmill. I really liked that sawmill, and I owe, and I owned a Dynatech, um, which is made in Michigan. Uh, they're they're pretty. They make really good firewood processors, but the sawmills are kind of not so good. You might have seen the Dynatech uh, firewood processor on uh, Wrangler Stars Channel. Um, it's a blue and yellow machine. They also make sawmills, but. Um, I, I can't recommend their sawmills because they're not quality is not up up where it needs to be. Um, we'll see on the Woodland Mill sawmill. I wanted to go back with Norwood again, um, but they didn't offer the Lumber Light 24 anymore, and the the new models of sawmills I wasn't you know looking at the the videos and the reviews I wasn't that impressed with so. I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't get another Lumber Light 24 because um, I really liked that sawmill. But I found Woodland Mills, and I think this mill is as good, if not better, than that Lumber Light 24. So I'm, that's what I'm hope my hope is. And so far, I've not been disappointed. But we'll get into the box and, and uh, get this mill set up and see how it goes. All right, so we got into the box here, and we found that I needed 18 millimeter socket in order to put this thing together, and I didn't have an 18 millimeter. I had 17 and 19, but so we went to town and we got a socket set um, that should put this thing together. I don't know what other tools will be required. Um, I've got a level, uh, but uh, we'll see how things go, and I'll. But if there's any other tools required, I'll let you know as 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 it, as it progresses. Okay, guys, this is uh, this is what we had kind of out of the box. Um, this is part of the track parts, and uh, you can see that these these tracks are very heavy duty. Uh, I'd say that's at least quarter inch quarter inch stock. Um, these rails are are machined. They got a little rough texture on them but they're not bad. I mean it's looks like it was done well. Heavy duty track. Uh, say I have a, I'd have to say I'm impressed with that. I haven't that's the heaviest duty track I've come across uh, as far as these manual portable manual sawmills go. That I've owned, um, and these bolts, uh, I think these are go to the leveling feet. These are very heavy-duty bolts. I was pretty surprised about that. Um, I would say these are uh, five eighths or three quarter, right around there. Um, so those are nice and heavy-duty. Uh, one complaint I do have. And that's the packaging. Um, it's not a big complaint. It's just a little annoyance. This is the bag that the bolts and nuts came in. And it's very, very thin. Um, you know, you grab, reach in and grab the bag and pull it out and it instantly tear, tore. Um, and I found that kind of with the boxes and the bags in this. 
the boxes have been falling apart um, because they're too, you know, the mill is, is very heavy duty, but the packaging isn't all that great. But it's a minor inconvenience. It's not a big deal. Uh, over here is the leveling feet. You can get a close-up look at those. Um, you know, fairly nice, substantial size foot there. So, yeah, I like that. There's some more of the bunks and the track in here in this box. Um, that'll be the first thing that we assemble. Looks like parts to the... Uh, looks like these are the log... Um, Stops basically to keep the log from coming off the other end of the track. Those are nice and heavy duty. Just like the taller ones are in here. Yeah. Let's get those in there. Yeah. Nice heavy duty thick walled tubing. Galvanized so it won't rust. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Huh? Looks like they install right in there so that's an important thing to have a heavy-duty track I know that we've had tracks in the past here that have been less than stellar um, for that reason I was reluctant and I didn't I didn't order any track extensions for this mill because my thought was my assumption was that this track was going to be fairly low quality so I just expected for the price of the mill that I would be building my own track um, I'm not sure if that's the case uh, we'll uh, we'll put this thing together and, and see how it performs I may just be ordering additional track uh, depends on the cost versus the steel and uh, my time and effort but but yeah, so this is the mill that comes stand, you know, the I think it's about 12 feet of track. It'll cut a 10 foot log, you know, you gotta have some some uh, some space for the saw head. But so far I'm I'm very impressed and very satisfied with the purchase. But we'll put it together and kind of see from here. You can see getting a little bit closer look at the saw head here. And the engine, the engine is a lot larger than I thought it was, physically larger than I thought it was. So that's good. Um, you can see over there I've got some of the uh, the other parts. I'll go film that real close for you. Alright, so here we've got some of the other parts of the mill. This looks like the, uh, um, the piece that holds the tank on, the water tank goes across the front and it has the uh, the uh, um, all the uh, lifting points here and those are I think they say three-eighths of an inch thick steel that's this is one heavy piece of uh, steel right here I'll tell you that and it looks like that's where the uh, these angle pieces go I haven't got into the instructions yet but it looks all pretty self-explanatory and here is the uh, the track feet I'm gonna go over this a little bit more later but I'm I was impressed with this design let's see if I can spin this around I was very impressed with this design uh, because because of this gusset this large gusset here this is gonna be an incredibly sturdy saw head all in all, guys, I'd say this sawmill is a very well-built, heavy-duty saw. Oh, here's the uh, uh, the uh, up-and-down control for the pulley on the end. You can see these pulleys are all very, very nice pulleys. Ni nicely, um, have, they have nice sealed bearings in them, and they're they're heavy-duty, solid. Steel. I mean, there's no. These are milled out. Looks like it's not, you know, one of those stamped tin pulleys. So, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, build quality so far, and uh, we'll see how things go. Um, in the next video, I'll be assembling this mill, 
piece by piece and I'll kind of show you guys how all that whole process works. I haven't really seen a good instructional uh, assembly video online for this mill, so I'm going to make one. Uh, so it'll be the next video. It'll probably be pretty long. It may be in several parts, but um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Click the thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day.